So uh, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. On uh, this video, this is part two of the four-part series on how to build an acoustic guitar. Uh, this video just focuses on one task, and that is how to bend the sides of the guitar. Uh, probably, in all the steps in building a guitar, really one of the easiest steps, but the one that people wonder about the most, just how it's done. So it's about 15 minutes long. Hopefully enjoy the video, and uh, please, uh, if you enjoy it, uh, leave us a like, let us know, leave us a comment, give us your feedback. Again, thanks for watching. So first of all, before I start, I'd like to just thank folks that have said some kind words about the channel, what we're doing here, uh, people that we know uh, personally, just the, thanks for the, for the encouragement. Yeah, sure to appreciate it. So my... First step here is I've got a piece of quilt and maple that's about 34 inches long, about six inches wide, and about, I've milled it down to about three sixteenths of an inch thick. Um, you soak the wood in, uh, in water for about 15, 20 minutes, get it nice and wet, try to get, you know, the wood fibers on the top and bottom of the wood uh, thoroughly soaked through. And then you heat up this bending iron and you start working the wood around the bending iron keeping it wet the entire time. I have a spray bottle close by and from that spray bottle basically I'll just keep uh, keep the wood moist. As you're bending this you can kind of feel the wood start to give. If you go too quick well you're going to split the wood. Um, go too slow and just not much happens. So this is really a simple task in woodworking and this is the same technique you would use for making uh, uh, bended drawer fronts for a certain style of uh, dresser, or if you're doing some sort of a table that's round. Um, it's 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 got a lot of applications across woodworking. Okay, um, primarily though you see it in instrument building. And again, so I'm keeping this warm, keeping it hot rather. And uh, this then this is about a one hour plus job. Just working this wood around this bending iron. Here I'm cutting out the uh, the cutaway for the guitar, or bending the cutaway. If you look over there in the upper part of the screen, you'll see the form. So I'll bend for a little while, then put it in the form to see how close it is. Now this wood has some elasticity, so you can go back and forth with it. Uh, as you bend it, the wood doesn't become stiff. It has a lot of flex to it. So the first step is getting it you know, steam bent to this shape here. And then put it into a form or put it over another uh, jig. You'll see in the next segment of the video. All right. And if you notice, my bending iron is extremely fancy. It's a Revlon curling iron that I picked up at the local grocery store. So uh, it works just as well as any commercial bending iron. It's got variable control as far as heat. You wrap it in full and have at it. So for about $20, uh, you build you a bending iron. That's a lot cheaper uh, than one commercially made. Here you see I'm keeping the wood wet. If I go too quick, I will split this wood. Okay. And you can kind of hear it sizzle slightly. So um, this segment here, I didn't do any narration. This is a voiceover. The next couple of segments will be me um, live as I do the work. Kind of telling you what I'm doing. So... Again, this is a very uh, rewarding portion of woodworking where you're just sitting there and you're basically taking an old straight piece of wood and I think making it into, uh, into something beautiful. So again, um, just uh, exercise and patience. So this is our side bending jig here. It's really hot. It's powered by three 150 watt light bulbs. There's a piece of brass over the top that's been bent to represent the general shape of a uh, dreadnought or similar guitar. And we're going to spray a little water. See how hot it is? As you can see, it's it's hot. I'm going to spray all the sides to see, make sure they got equal heating on all sides. And now we're going to bend our side. I've got a piece of my maple that's been I've gotten good and wet I will start by sliding it in here getting it good and flush 
and then putting my end bar right here You can fill that wood give. You can fill the the fibers in the wood. You can see the backside here, how it's keep it wet. Now, once I get this in this clamp and get it totally bent, I'll let this sit here and cook for a few minutes, and then I'll let it uh, dry out. Kind of let it sit there and get the moisture back out of the wood. Gotta be careful, get this too hot, it can actually start to burn the wood. That's why I want to keep moisture in that as much as possible. This bar over. And bring this rod through. Put that washer on there. Keep it wet in there as best as possible. Slowly let the leverage of my doing this as I go.
GoPro stop. So again, like and subscribe, and hopefully have another video posted, the third part of this series, in just a few short days. And thanks, and have a fine day.